In 2022, Ogidi community in Ijumu local government area lost one of its finest sons, late Oba Stephen Dada Rugundadi, the Olojo of Ogidi Kingdom. On 24th and 25th August 2023, friends and relations from all walks of life converged on the community to pay their last respects. The <laughs> The memorial service was held at Diocese of Anglican Communion, St. John's Anglican Church. Present to lead in glowing tributes to the monarch was the Diocesan Bishop, Right Reverend Paul Uju, Oba Stephen, who ascended the throne of his forefathers as the Lord of Ugidiela Kingdom in 2016, was described as a man with many sterling attributes. Uh, the late uh, Oba Arogundade, the Olojo, the late Olojo of uh, Onogogogo, was a very kind hearted. He was a Christian, he was a giver, he was a, a fair minded and just over, and uh, he had the fear of God all through his life and his judgments. He was a simple man who accommodated all in all respects, irrespective of your religions, family, or uh, political inclination. We have gathering, he has to be there before other chiefs, which the chiefs are supposed to be there before him. He's somebody that would describe as highly disciplined person. Maybe due to his background as military, he's a no-nonsense person. It was more than just a service to remember the good life of the late Oba. Thanksgiving, prayers and words of admonition were among the high points of the celebration of his life. Born on 4 January 1947, Late Oba Stephen Dada Rugundadi began his education at St. John's Anglican Primary School, Gidi, and later proceeded to St. Barnabas Secondary School, Kaba. He began his career with Nigeria Tezai Kaduna. He would later join the Nigeria Army at the advent of the Civil War. When he was in soldier, if you can know that anybody is, he can walk out and see somebody that is from Ogidi or maybe Kogi State. He would like to bring that person closer to himself. So when anybody when he came home to come and be a chief, when anybody comes to our place, he always entertain everybody. If you see somebody that is in need, he will call to that person. He will ask, what do you need? He will give the person. The father of six was a dedicated servant of the nation and was loved by many for his commitment, love, and humility. He died on April 2022 at the age of 75. <laughs> Jonathan Omajali, NTN News.